So Instagram can play videos right in the UI collection view cell. I want to do something similar, but actually stop it playing when it's not fully on the screen. Is it possible? I wouldn't be making this tutorial if it wasn't. So the idea of this particular project is to play a video in the collection view cell and it only plays it when the video is wholly on screen. And this project does that more or less and it shows the video and it disappears as we go off the screen. So that's quite nice. It's not the only way of doing this, but this is one possible approach. So I have my project and I've just named the cell something silly, one, two, three, four, so I know which one they are, but they're actually playing the same video. So in practice, you might have one dot MP4 or something similar and use that as the file name. And also you might not want to have the data right in the view controller like this. You might want to have a view model. That's a discussion for another time. Equally, this collection view is set up programmatically. So we're going to have load view and it sets the scroll direction to be vertical. But nothing here is particularly great shakes. We've got the data source and delegate pointing to this file but we're using a subclass to collection view cell, which we'll come on to in just a little while. So here's where we set up the collection view. And obviously we have as many cells as we do data points. And if the cell is completely visible, you play the video. What does that mean? Well, in the subclass cell, we can set up a player view and play the video which is from the bundle which it happens to be this video from one of the apps I've made in the distant past. So you also need to have a stop video because as we scroll off the screen as we're not visible we stop the video playing and apart from that well we're not doing that much interesting. I suppose the player view where we're setting up this player layer might be interesting, but all this code is going to be in the link in the description. However, it's this part which is really most interesting, completely visible. So we need to know if a cell is visible and contains the rectangle. So we know that because when the scroll view is scrolling, we can use this index path for visible items. And we can know if any particular cell is visible at any time. And if it is, you know what we're going to do? We're going to play the video. Now, if it's not visible at any particular time, we stop the visible. So, sorry, stop the video playing. It is a little bit tricky because we have the coordinate space of the collection view or the cell, but we have layout attributes to help us. We have the bounds contains to help us. So we can easily check the visibility of the cell. Now I'll split that out into a separate function to make it slightly easier to read. And you can see there are comments for each line here. But the truth is, when you know the API for this index path for visible items, it's not actually too hard to make this code. So that's not a completed project. It's a start of something that you might like to develop. And I've got another tutorial that helps you create an Instagram-like interface. You could combine the two and make something getting really quite close to Instagram. And I think that'd be an interesting side project to do. Anyway, have fun.